I've logged into the Machine Learning for Kids website. The URL is machinelearningforkids.co.uk. And once again, you will need a teacher or an adult to create um, an account for you to get in here. Once you're logged in, you can go to your projects and add a new project. For this one, we're going to call it Iris Predictor. And under recognizing, we want to recognize numbers. We're going to add a value. The first value will be sepal. Let's do this in the order that's in the sheet. So we've got um, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. So let's do it in that order. So let's call this sepal length. And the type it will be is a number. And then we've got sepal width. And this is also a number. We'll add another value. This will be petal width number and add another value which will be the petal length also a number. So we've got our four values that we're going to be inputting and we'll click create. Now we can open this up and we want to start training it. And this is where we're going to create the three labels, which are, the, are three kinds of irises. So we're going to add a new label, and we're going to call this iris setosa. So the, what, what I'm going to do here so that I can see both of these, I'm going to just make this a little bit smaller and resize both windows so we can see them side by side. So what I'm going to do over here on the left is add an example, and it asked me the four numbers. So what I need to do um, is look over here on the right for my IRIS worksheet. I don't really need the ID. This is just the ID that the scientists who, who collected the information, they gave an ID to each of the flowers. We're just going to copy the information in these four columns. So. I'm going to put 5.1 for the sepal length, uh, 3.5 for the width, petal length is 1.4, and petal, aha, we've got these out of order. Okay, so I've got to do these backwards, 0 0.2. And uh, if you try just point 0.2, it's going to say it doesn't look like a number, so we have to put a, a 0 in front of it. And then the petal length is 1.4. I did get the columns out of order, so if you did the same thing, just make sure when you enter the numbers, you're putting them for the right column. Okay, so let's add another example. And so I'm going to go into ID2. So I've got 4.9, uh, 3, and then again, we're going to put 0 0.2 for the width and 1.4 for the length. I'm going to go down the list here and I will add in the numbers for the first 12 IDs. So I will have 12 different examples within my iris setosa. So I filled in 12 examples. So the first 12 examples out of this data set. Looking through the Google Sheets, they provided us with 50 of each type of iris. So if you wanted to, you could add more than 12. However, what we want to do is reserve some of these numbers for testing. So you could probably go up to adding 25 if you wanted to, and then leave the second 25 to test. But at any rate, I think 12 is a good number to get started with. So what we're going to do is add a second label for our second type of iris, and that is iris versicolor. So we'll add that. And if we go down on our Google Sheet here, so starting here at um, 51 is where we'll start. So we'll start adding those in. So 51 is uh, 7, 3.2, and again we have to reverse these two. So it's 1.4 for the width and 4.7 for the length of the pedal. And I'll just keep continuing to add those. 
for the VersaColor. And then finally we'll add the third label, which will be Iris Virginica. So go ahead and add 12 examples for VersaColor and for Virginica. So now I've added in all of my examples. So I've got 12 examples for each of my three labels. When you do this, you want to make sure that you put the numbers in exactly, right? So you've got this good set of data that scientists have recorded, and you want to be able to be accurate as you're typing them in. Once you've added your 12 examples for all three, click on Back to Project. We've finished the training. Now we're going to learn and test. What have we done? We've collected 12 examples for Iris Setosa, 12 for Iris Versicolor, and 12 for Iris Virginica. So what's next? We're going to start training it. So we click the button. That was very quick. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's already trained our model. So what we can now do is I'm going to go back over to my data set and try some test numbers. So remember, we put in the first 12. So I could start with, say, number 20 here. Um, and we could try to put this in. So let's say 5.1 and 3.8. And again, reversing the order of these two columns. So it's 0 0.3 for the petal width and 1.5 for its length. So if we test this, recognized as Aristotosa with 100% confidence. So that's great. Let's try another one for Iris Versicolor. And again, we don't want to take the first 12 because those were part of our training set. So we could go down here to say number 70, uh, 5.6 and 2.5 and 1.1 and 3.9. Testing that. Iris Versicolor. Again, 100% confidence, which is really good. Let's go down and try to test an Iris Virginica. 5.9, 3, 1.8, and 5.1 for our four numbers, and testing it, Iris Virginica. So that's really good with really good confidence. We could test a few more, so it might pay to pull out a few more examples for each of the three and test it here. So the fact that we've got 100% confidence, that's really good.